So we took a little bit of a break from the car. Here's a couple of the reasons why. Number one, we had other stuff to do. Sometimes you just have to prioritize. Number two, two, wasn't really sure still at this point what we were gonna do with it. And in all honesty, I was a little bit scared and a little bit nervous about getting into any of this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Dog. But I guess that's how you learn. And the thought of getting into some of this stuff was almost overwhelming. But today, all of that is gonna change because we are just going to dig in and deal with the consequences later. So we know for a fact we're not using any of this suspension. So all of that is coming out. Well, not that bar, but all that's coming out. All of this is coming out. All, everything down there. Everything here is gonna come out. All that wiring is gonna come out because it's not gonna go with the new motor, whatever that motor is going to be. And we've already started to tape it off because that entire front firewall from here down is going black. So I guess nothing to it, but to do it. So I guess first thing to do, we're gonna take off some of this. That's the old carburetor brackets. Got some tubing hanging out here. And it's mainly just this one wiring harness. I'm gonna to try to take it apart right there and see if we can get that pulled back through the firewall into the cabin. I have been extremely lucky so far because almost every bolt's come off of this car, especially here in the engine bay. I think there was so much grease on everything that we didn't have a chance to rust. Oh, there we go. into there. Oh yeah. Got all the wiring pulled back into the cabin. Now I want to take off all brake lines, as much bracketry as I can, all the steering linkages. This is coming off, this hose will I don't even know what that hose is. Windshield washer fluid, maybe, but it's brittle. Oh man, it's got a Jesus clip on it. There is just this one little clip right there. Oh, there we go. Come out of there. So now that that is done, I'm gonna get to the brake lines and take them off. Uh, back as far as I can go, get the one off across from there. Okay, brake lines are off. The fuel line is tucked up out of the way. I didn't take them past that point right there because that all runs through the frame. So I'll get that later. But my thought if I can take out that bolt and that bolt and these bolts right there, the front end, oh, and these bolts right there, I'm thinking, if you everything loosened up, I'm hoping it drops out and just right out onto the floor. Okay, got a wrench on this bolt. Got the impact set up to go on that nut right there and I got a jack underneath it because I'm sure that spring is under tension but here we go let's see what happens oh yeah well that came right off I don't even know what you were worried about See if this side comes out as easy. Yeah. See, you were worried for nothing. Now let's see how these top bolts do. 
in the right socket. Nope, not that one. Oh yeah. Second verse, same as the first. Oh yeah. We are so close, so close. Got all of this off, so everything is loose. All that I don't do here, everything is loose. All those bolts out, everything loose on this end. Only thing really holding us up right now is the shock bolts, which I can take those out on both sides, and that steering box back there, which I might be able to take it apart right there and take the box out, the steering box out separately. But let me tell you, this thing, trying to get it apart, was kind of like trying to castrate an elephant while it's awake. Without anesthesia, it was rough. It put up a fight. But we got it. Nothing that a big hammer can't solve. BFH. Big hammer. Haha, <laughs> success. It's all out. Now I just gotta figure out how to get it outside. Hi. Hi, it's a big deal. You did good. Real rough. I heard it in the house. <laughs> all the banging? Yes. All the noise, all the banging. So it had to be really loud because the house isn't that close to the barn. Yeah. Sure. It's a big step for not knowing what I'm gonna do to put it back together. Oh, we got this. Yeah, we'll figure it out. If they went to the moon or supposedly landed on the moon, we can do this. Yeah, this is just a car. It's not a moon landing. Conspiracy. Uh, That's the way it is. Hold it. Yep. Don't move it. Oh, hold it. Sure. Are we going to wheel it over here just like that? I don't know. I say use the tractor. <laughs> it's like a giant puzzle. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Okay, everyone. My husband said, hey, let's take the car. There's some newspaper over there in the cabinet. And? That's a good paper. MVP, Manning, Colts win Indy's first title. Yep, let's rip it up and put tape on it. You wanna keep that one? Yes, I have Peyton Manning's signature in the house. All right. He's not into football a whole lot. Woo! There goes a squirrel, your spirit animal. He's in the driveway over there. <laughs> uh, and a hearing aid ad. Nobody needs a hearing aid. I don't even know why you have me out here. Because I love you. Put your nose on me? No, that was my face. <laughs> oh, look at that ad. That's back before they price gouged food. Let's reminisce. Salsa, $1.69. Mangoes, 79 cents each. Kind of making me hungry. Everything is taped off. Time to get fancy. When I went inside, I had pizza and some peanut butter and chocolate. And then... What? I know, I was doing so good. Uh, ha what? Have you seen me paint? I don't do... I mean... Did you shake this? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I mean, I'm a kind of girl. Right. This is a professional paint job. Right, oh, oh, look. <laughs> so I told you, it's like a... Yeah. 
Oh, you can see my run. I know. Ah! Right where everyone's gonna um, look. What are you doing? You said go to town. Back and forth. Back and forth. But what about my aim and shoot? Making it look like a Dalmatian. Where? Stop. Am I doing it right? I heard it in your voice. No, you did not. Watch your overspray, sir. Did it get you? Mm hmm That run, every time I see it, I'm gonna think of you. That's right. That I should have ran. <laughs> That's me. You're a bully. There we go. First and second coats are complete. We're just going to let that dry for a little bit and then we will peel all that tape off and see how it looks. Good job, honey. Nice. Good job. So while we wait for all of that to dry, we're gonna take the tractor, which she's gonna drive, and pick up and move the front suspension. Everything is all dry, got all the tape removed. I think it looks great. Very good. <gasps> Answer your phone. Children. What do you got to say? Any closing remarks? Thank you for watching, if you're watching. I'm, I'm a busy girl. Don't forget. You can do something for free and hit the subscribe button and that will enter you once we hit a thousand, <laughs> yes, thousand subscribers for some free merchandise. All you got to do is be a, a subscriber and when we hit the thousand mark, we'll draw, I don't know, three or four random names, give away some hats. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.